you know, part of, of you know, what comes up quite often, whether it be, um, you know, recent news of a, uh, a, a terminal diagnosis or something that, in a sense, just really, you know, shatters our world, and something that I talk a, a, a lot about with everybody, and, 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 you know, it kind of falls under the heading of easier said than done, but it's a truism in life, and that is, you know, the reality that, that pain may be a part of our lives, okay? And reality doesn't care whether we agree with it or not. Reality is going to continue to be reality. And a very important component of, of responding to reality is with a sense of acknowledgement or what we would call acceptance. And when I speak of acceptance, I, I'm not saying that we have to bring ourselves to the point where, oh, I'm happy about this or I'm surrendering to this. It's kind of like the saying that everybody says, it is what it is. Um, but oftentimes people will say that and not really appreciate the magnitude of what those words really mean because they're, 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 they're so important. And that is, if we can embrace reality knowing that life is going to have pain in it, it's going to help stave off um, oftentimes the suffering that we experience because of our difficulty in really coping with the realities of life. And suffering is a different kind of pain. It magnifies the overall experience of our distress, whether it be physical or psychological. But one of the things that we can, we can acquire is the ability to experience pain or accept pain, if you will, without engendering all the suffering that we tend to wrap around it. And, and it's a difficult process because it also includes a sense of acknowledgement that something has been lost. You know, whether it be, you know, hearing about a terminal illness that, you know, you know, soon, you know, we will experience great loss. We feel the pain of what our loved ones will feel like when we're gone. But with something like chronic non-malignant pain syndromes as well, there's a sense of loss. When we have a life-changing injury or illness, we've lost something, and there's a pain around that. But what we try to help people do, and it's, it's no easy task and it's a process, is find ways to live with that pain in our life and not have it define who we are. To, to, to live a life with pain in it, rather than have a life dominated by pain, hopefully is a big part of what I can help people accomplish and in doing so be able to have a certain element of pain but not have that disabling level of suffering that that can just come on um, you know so quietly and so out of awareness that before too long it just overtakes us and the suffering is what really gets in the way of, of people you know living the kind of life they want to live. If you would like to set up an appointment, please call me at the number below.